But it's just telling you what you gotta do for first in order to get the in order to get the exact answer that they want. Perfect. What's what is the what does the E stand for? Exponent. Alright, what is this what's the exponent? That's the day. Exponents is like when you got a number and it's like a time. What? Power of ten. Wait, does it happen to ten? No. Nah. No, it's like, no, that ain't what I mean to say. It's an I mean, it's an uh, exponent. And then, you know, like, you gotta do whatever that number is, you gotta make that many numbers in time to make sure. Okay. You know, so, what you gotta do next. Our exponent is big or small numbers? Yeah. They're really big numbers, but when we write them, where do we write the numbers? Small. Small, at the top right, correct? Yeah. Any number at the top right of a, of a number. So, let's say I wrote 5 and I wrote 3 up here. That is the exponent. Now, what is the what is the M stand for? Multiplication. Raise your hand, Nia. All right, the D. Division. Raise your hand, Nani. Division. A. Yeah. Addition. S. Division. A. Perfect. All right, we're gonna need this. We're gonna need to know what happens first, what happens next, and what happens nice. next, and next, and next. Cause we're going into some ham algebra right now. We're going to do some heavy algebra today. Alright? First, does anybody know what the subjective states? Read it out loud if you can. Generate a table of values from the Voice. Generate a table of values from the formula. Okay. We all know what a formula is. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Alright, can I get an example? Somebody raise their hand and tell me what a formula is. Imani? Um, what you want, like what you want to avoid. Right? Okay. At the bottom. These? It's no, it's no, over there. This? Yeah. Okay, cool. These are all formulas. Right. Right? Yeah. Now, what we also must know, the difference between expressions and equations. Do we know the difference between expressions and equations? I believe so. Alright, what's an expression? It's a hint right here. One of them, one of them has what? No, it's no. And the other one has? I can't remember. Uh, okay. So it says one of them has no equal sign and the other one has an equal sign. Which one do you think has an equal sign? The second one. An equation. Perfect. Alright, an expression is just if I wrote 5 plus x. That's an, that's an expression. When I write equal to 5 or equal to something, that turns it into an equation. Alright? Cool. Moving on. Now, a table of values. What is a table of values? What do you think it is? Right there? Yeah. It shows the formula, right? Then you have something else? Okay, cool. Now, everybody on your papers, find the table of values for this one and this one, and we'll work on this one together. <laughs> Just plug in what I plugged in here. So when you read this equation, what are the first steps you must do? <laughs> Let's read the steps, Markwell. Yes, yes. Read the steps. Step one. Read the formula of word or read the formula or a word from it. Cool, cool. Step two? Think Pendez. Alright, step three, Tyrese? Just read the steps. <laughs> you read the steps. Alright, the sum is five. Cool. Alright, so for this equation, what do we do first? X plus two. What is that? We First, you gotta, um, you gotta, yeah. Right. You gotta take away one variable. You gotta have one variable. Right. So, uh, you do, uh, you, you take away y. Okay. Wait, no, nah, first you gotta add them up. No, you gotta take away x. What is first? Our steps are right there. What do we do first? Read the formula. What do the formula say? Yeah. Read it out loud. Yeah. We learned, yesterday we learned how to write it. First, you gotta do right. PIM to the I mean, you gotta do PIM. No. They don't got. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Wait, wait, wait. Why? It's saying read the formula and for number one. Right. Then number two, it says take the PIM. Right. Right. Heads up, Cam. Nobody has their hands down. Nobody. Look, at, look around. Everybody's heads up. Everybody's have the same day. Oh, we're gonna have the same day. I'm oh, kidding. Yeah. All right. So. What you want to do in X is you want to plug in numbers so you can solve for Y. You can't have two variables in an equation. It's hard to solve for one if you have two equations. I just saved it. Alright. Now, if we did this, if X is zero, what would Y be? Plug it in. 
Give me the name. Two. Two? Yeah. All right. If X is one, no. Raise your hand, Marquel. Anybody else? Raise your hand. Anybody else? If X is one, what would, what would uh, Y be? Marquel. Three. Yeah. If X is two, what would Y be? You see a pattern? Right. Ah. All right. Now, from this, do we know how to turn this into a graph? Yes. Yeah. What do we do? Right. You take the um, take the you, you gotta, you gotta do zero okay. on the x on the x one. Okay. And then you go up to you go up two space. We put it. Okay. Put it Mind seems to know what's going on. You might have come plot all those points on this graph. <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody else on the table, make a value of table for this. 3x minus 1. Pick your x's. You usually want to keep it easy for yourself. You don't want to pick x to be 100. You don't want to do that to yourself. Maybe you do. Whatever you You don't want to do that to yourself. Pick something simple. 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Imani plotted these points for us, right? This, if we keep going, if we keep going with four, this would be six. If we go with five, this would be seven, so on and so forth, right? It will go on forever. There's a reason we have an arrow at the end of all this. It's a continuum. It means that it keeps going on forever, right? So for this line right here, all you would do is draw this line, and that would be... That would be the example for that. All right, Mark well. Now, did, did, did we work, are we working on number two? Yeah. Are we working on this one? Yeah. Yeah, what's the answer? Ain't no top. You thought the pick one. What, what did you pick? One. Okay, what is it? Uh, the, 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 the X was one, then... Three, but not even two. Yeah, that ain't the paper. You would know, man. All right. You want us to do number two that's on here or number two that's on the board? Everybody do number one that's on your paper now. The guy that practice. Do number one. We should all, let's, uh, let's agree on the numbers we pick. All right, so that we all have the same answers. What, what do we want to put? Uh, Dejanet, the first X column. Zero, one, two, three. All right, Dejanet. What do you want to put? What number would you like to put? Uh, one. one? Okay. Everybody put one in the first one? So, so not in the first box, I should probably put an X. You could, if you want. You can put X and Y. And then next to it, write one, two. All right, what do you, what do you want to put? Anybody else? Want to pick a number for the class? One, two, three. Is that right? Do we agree with that? Sure, right. sure. All right, one, two, three, it is. Excuse me, my hand got greasy. So, it's like, I need to greasy. I'm not going to touch you. Sure. All right. Now, do number two with the same numbers. One, two, three, four. Do number two with the same ones. Do the second one. Yeah, do the second one. 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 Do the second